Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati Allah, Ati Rasulu, Ulul Amri Minkum. When I'm a reminder for myself, I'm Abdul Ajeezu, Da'ifu, Miskinu, Zalimu, Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. InshaAllah a reminder was from myself, wa minhi wa minhum that this reality and the reality of insan, the reality of the soul and what insan is capable of reflecting. That when holy hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad that you'll be with whom you love. And that same hadith also means that whom you love will be with you and its reality is an immense ocean. When Allah describes from the top that, I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known, means showing now the greatest of this reality, Allah sets its precedent that I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. And Muharram is the opening of the reality of the Zulfiqar, the opening of the reality of the Bab and the Ulul Bab, the caretakers of this door that Sayyidina Muhammad described, Ana Madina, I'm the city of all knowledges and realities and Imam Ali wa Babahu is the caretaker of that Bab but also means the Bab of who, the gate of this reality of who and its immense realities of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That Allah I am a hidden treasure wanting to be known and this year of Muharram to understand and step into Muharram to understand that we are running to the love of Allah Supreme. But the people just don't understand how to do that. So when you run to Allah and your heart is, is wholly trying to dedicate itself to the love of Allah when Allah gives you a grant of His Divinely love, it's not something that you achieve but you merely provide the actions, you do the actions. It Allah has to grant its muhabbat, its love. When Allah finds sincerity in the actions of the servant and grants them a love, means that a light begins to enter into their heart and as they're running towards Allah Allah begins to reveal this secret that I'm a hidden treasure and I want to be known. So then begins to reflect you to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Means those ashiqeen that have a, a real and immense love for Allah that's the litmus test. Those who say, oh we, 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 we focus on Allah and, and you, you focus too many things on other things. No, it's incorrect actually that when your focus is sincere and the love is sincere, Allah wants to reveal a reality that I'm a hidden treasure and I'll always be a hidden treasure. But I do want to be known and the only way this alif and la ilaha illallah can be known is into the reflection of Muhammadun Rasulullah So Allah we're all running towards that reality. When Allah finds satisfaction then this reality of Holy Qur'an begin to pull the servant in. Ayatul Kareem قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهُ Tell them, so this is an et- eternal order from Allah Tell all this creation, if they want my love fattabiyuni, that to follow you Ya Sayyidi, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Rasulul Kareem, Ya Habibul Azim, 
And Allah that Allah will grant us His Divinely love. So immediately in their loving and running toward Allah Allah put a love and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad into their heart and made that love so immensely more achievable. That when we were sincere that, Ya Rabbi how am I going to love you, how am I going to serve you, how am I going to, to show my love for you, it became so much easier and clearer. Follow, follow Sayyidina Muhammad All the other Prophets they have a level of imperfection and their nations have expired, their visas, the date has expired. Go to the one whom is most praised in heaven, go to the one whom visa never expires, its date never expires. Go to the most perfected example in this creation, Fattabiyuni. And they began to ran, began to ran towards the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and they carried the, the sunnah and everything about that immense love is that, what did Prophet want from us? How is it that we're going to make Prophet to be happy with us? How are we going to do the milad, the mawlid and all of these practices? And that immense love began to open that secret. And Prophet was telling his companions that, if you've seen me, you've seen Allah. No, that's kind of deep, that, did you see me? Means did you see that I'm the walking Qur'an? Sayyidina Aisha salam said that Prophet was walking Qur'an. Means that people who are external they always want something external and their zahiri understanding will always be external. And nothing makes any sense for them. But people whom Allah inspire from heavenly realities that they know everything is perishing. We don't focus on the perishing, we focus on that which is eternal and the world of light. That when you love and you run towards this reality of Sayyidina Muhammad in this immense soul what did you see? When they ran towards this light and this love they realized when Prophet is telling them that, if you remember me once Allah sends my soul to make 10 salawats upon you from the oceans of eternity that have no time. And what is the best gift that Prophet can give to anyone is the gift of Holy Qur'an. Means He's dressing them with the lights of Holy Qur'an upon their soul, blessing them with these realities of Holy Qur'an upon their soul. And they're running to Rasulul Kareem, every attribute of Allah is known through this magnificent character of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah described Khuluqul Azeem, Azeem that you're of a magnificent, the creator of all creation is giving a description of the character of Sayyidina Muhammad as magnificent. Why? Because he's a reflection of Allah Allah praising himself. Allah saying, the most perfected in your creation and for your understanding is this reality. If you want to know what Rahman is, look to Sayyidina Muhammad if you want to know what Raheem is, look to Sayyidina Muhammad Every reality of Allah will be known to us, dressed upon us through the reflection of the reality of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's the reflection from the La ilaha illallah the alif to the lamb. And when the alif and the lamb they twist. And become the Zulfiqar, that becomes the La, Basirat al Lam Jalala. That's the secret of that Zulfiqar. 
that the whole reality of that Zulfiqar was laid in Muharram. Imam Ali represents the alif and lying in the bed and becoming non-existent. And the hijra represents the lamb and the opening of this lisan al-haqq, the opening of Muhammadun Rasulullah but they're intertwined. That for Imam Ali to lie in the bed to represent that state of being non-existent, being in a state of fana and mawt qabl al-mawt. And then entering into the city of lights to meet with Sayyidina Muhammad after he conveyed what he wanted to convey in the holy cave to Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq So that lamb is going through the cave and the one whom represents that secret of the alif is lying in Mecca going straight into Medina through a hidden channel and a hidden reality under Mecca and arrives in Medina and that becomes the lamb and the alif and then it crosses. And that's the Zulfiqar that was Sayyidina Muhammad sword and was given to Imam Ali When we run to the love of Allah what we find is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah wounds, did you find me? Did you see that this hidden treasure of mine in this one whom you love and never disappoints you in your love? Did you find my mercy? Did you find my compassion? Look at all these Nat Sharif and all these salawats, how beautific they make you feel, how beautifically they're written and everything about the love of You feel the real love of Allah when you love Sayyidina Muhammad becomes a pure reflection of that reality and then Allah said, did you find me? That when you were loving and moving in that direction, قُلِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَتَابِعُونِي If Allah accept فَتَابِعُونِي accept your ihtiba and your following يُهِبَكُمُ اللَّهِ Allah will grant if He says, if I accepted the way you followed. I grant you my divinely love, you hibbukumullah. And then Allah describe, I'm ghafoor raheem, I forgive all, all your sins. Of course, if I'm going to dress you with that light, perfect you with that light, I have to continuously clean you, wash you, and perfect you. But you're actually now dressed with Allah's divinely love because you loved Sayyidina Muhammad. Its reality was overpouring with the reality of the love of Allah and this is the example of mirroring in our life. And Sayyidina Muhammad was warning creation. When he told this creation and gave every hadith and every expression out to humanity, minhi wa minhum that Hussein is from me. And then I'm from him, I'm from Hussein. Again that same secret is coming out, that he carries my light. What made the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah brought that light and made Muhammadun Rasulullah And Sayyidina Muhammad is asking us and reminding us, this light of Imam Hussain is from my light, my purified light of which you don't even understand this reality. Just one of his understanding is from my soul and the light of my left eye from Bahrul Hayat. Allah made that soul of Al Hussain from the oceans of Al Hayat, the oceans of of eternity, the oceans of yaqeen and certainty and name that ancient reality Sayyid al-Shuhada. Sayyid is the master, shuhada, mushahada, those whom he's the master of those whom can see. There's no seer above the master. Nobody can witness, no reality can be opened without Imam al Hussein to sign for them. And this immense reality of Imam al Hussein and Prophet is saying that 
he's from me. One day you may find out from where on my light, Ya Jatta al-Hasanin wal Husayni, Qurat al-Ayni, we even make that in that beatific salawat. In Qurat al-Ayn the beatific eyes of, the beatific eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet gave to us and said that he's from me. Means this light of Imam al Hussein is from me. And when you see him and when you love him, did you find me? When you love him and see his noble character, his chivalrous character, and when we sit in those whom cry and people look and say, why are they crying? So why are you crying? Because we have such a love for Prophet I'm thinking to myself, I would have ripped my hair out if I had to look at a field in which they were trying to kill the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Right now if you talk bad about it, I will rip your hair out. Imagine what you do in a field in which you saw that. You don't feel that it rips your heart out to even hear that? They didn't see the light of Prophet killing him. They called us on to pray and all his children slaughtered in a field. Don't we suffer from these same people now? They see nothing of Islam and they call Azan. They didn't see his light and Prophet asked, you didn't see me there? I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known, you didn't know me. Oh my nation who you called Azan, you made salah and you kept butchering my family. What is this Islam you are following? Everywhere on this earth is Karbala, every day is Ashura, every day Ahlul Bayt are attacked and they're left to be alone in their field. People call them, come, come teach and within no time they say, get out, get out of the home that we brought you in, get out of here, get out, we don't want anything to do with you, we don't come to see you. Every day, every day is Ashura for them and wherever they step is Karbala. That's the sad side. But the people of Malakut and tafakkur and contemplation, these words of Sayyidina Muhammad is a deep reality. When you love him do you feel me? When you cry for him do you feel how happy I am with you because you found me. You found me in my family. Didn't Prophet describe I leave for you Qur'an and my sunnah? And then gave another secret that I left for you Qur'an and my Ahlul Bayt. That my Ahlul Bayt they are my sunnah. Not only hat and siwak, the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is to be with Ahlul Bayt. If it's Sayyidina Muhammad that you love, how is it that you're not with the family? And all mashaykh of Naqshbandi are all Ahlul Bayt and they're Ahlul Bayt by light and by blood. And that reality that they come to teach that when you love Imam al Hussein as salam, Prophet is dressing you like Allah was dressing about the love of Prophet Oh you really reached me, you really found the code into my love, your love was so superficial. Now imagine the danger of those who come against this reality. When Sayyidina Muhammad is for those whom are fortunate and glad tiding, they find the love and they cry and they say, I can't imagine how this happened and I wish I was there, I want to uphold the sunnah, I want to uphold the way, I want to, to uphold the noble character. And they get the visitation and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad into their hearts 
and say, you found me, you found my love, you found my satisfaction, your love is sincere, you love what I love, you dislike what I dislike, you're real, you're real. And the one whom they don't and they don't cry and they even dare to open their mouth saying that, why should you cry? Those are Hizb shaitan They didn't find the light of Sayyidina Muhammad in this noble family. They didn't find the light of Sayyidina Muhammad in this noble character. Then they missed the whole package. The same with those who didn't see it with Sayyidina Muhammad they say also the same. Why you don't just love Allah why you have to make mirad? Why you have to respect Prophet so much? Why you have to do this? Why you have to do that? It's the same aqeedah, the same belief system. They're not understanding the mirror. They're not understanding this secret of reflection. That Allah is saying, I'm a hidden treasure. If it was so easy to run to me, you and every other bodh parast and every other type of creation, you, you would have found it. But the real test was, no, if you love me, go to Muhammadun Rasulullah You know the companions when they were being tortured in Mecca, the people of Mecca were saying, no problem, you stay with La ilaha illallah. But don't you ever go towards Muhammadun Rasulullah This whole dunya has no problem with Allah But don't you dare show yourself as a Muhammadan. Don't identify yourself in your Muhammadan image. Means they were telling them, do whatever you want with saying Allah because it doesn't matter for us. But don't dare show yourself that you are with Muhammadun Rasulullah and they tortured all the companions in Mecca. They grabbed Sayyidina Bilal, they were torturing and killing the companions in the days in Mecca, 13 years of torment. So no, those whom they came to the love and they came to the love of Muhammadun Rasulullah what they found? What Sayyidina Bilal al Habashi found? They're crushing his heart and crushing his chest to kill him in a field. And they say, give up, give up the way of Sayyidina Muhammad said, no, kill me here, crush me. And all his zikr was Ahad, Ahad, Ahad. Means Allah opened immense oceans of Bahrul Ahad. That your love for Prophet has found acceptance and your gift is my Divinely Presence. So then imagine now these nights when we're trying to seek the satisfaction of Prophet in our life. People gather, people donate, people give, people crying for this love. It grants us the satisfaction of Sayyidina Muhammad May Prophet be pleased with us, dress us, bless us with these lights, forgive our wrongdoings just for the sake of the love of Ahlul Bayt, love of Ashab and Nabi It's not necessary to always mention Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman every time you want to mention Ahlul Bayt. It's not a competition. On certain nights it's their night to be identified, it doesn't take away the love of all the holy companions. But this night and these nights are for them and remembering what they sacrificed and that the real light and love of Sayyidina Muhammad was there. And in the fields of death and battle when all people could only see the slaughtering and the grief, they say Imam al Hussein saw the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and his arms stretched and, come and run to me, your time on this dunya is finished. And Allah has found satisfaction in your struggle, means our life is about that reflection.
anything that you love with sincerity it begins to enter to you and reflect to you. When somebody has an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad do you see it? Are you just looking at their form and say, you know, click on the video and say, oh this guy's Arabic is not correct and uh, they start cursing. Uh, those are Yazid. Anyone who's making these comments from, from ridiculously superficial understandings, you are a Yazid. And the Yazid within yourself is coming against everything and Allah describes you that you'll be blind in dunya and you'll be blind in akhirah. Our life wasn't about that but was to see that these people have an immense love. There must be a hidden secret within them that when you enter into their love, enter into their associations, Sayyidina Muhammad isn't he asking you, oh I think you found me. You'll find me in the hearts of those whom sincerely love me. All those people who out and looking for Ahlul Bayt and looking for the love of Imam Al Husayn as salam, did they find it yet? When you came to those whom have an immense love for that reality, we're just a hollow body. What you love you will be with that holy hadith, whom you love you'll be with them. Are we talking about the body or are we talking about the soul? That your whole life was to put your love for them, you don't think then your soul is companion with them? That your soul is always attached to them and their soul is actually with you. So when people come to you, did they find that secret of Imam Hussain inside of you? If you're an external person none of this makes sense, you probably should change the channel. But if you're somebody searching for malakut and the world of light, this immense reality is whatever you're looking for you'll find it in those whom have an immense love for that reality. Seek out the lovers of the reality whom their love is sincere with their actions and their words, not just words. There are people who say they love and they were saying crazy things. But when you love and you're sincere, the one whom you love is always with you. And if people keep their companionship and watch and, and follow and learn, they should be feeling the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad They should be feeling the presence of Imam Al Husayn and that's the reality, one of the realities of that holy hadith, you be with whom you love. So when I'm looking for the love of Ahlul Bayt, I want to find those whom sincerely love them. When I'm looking for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad from holy hadith, that the holy hadith says you love them the most on this earth in their deed and in their actions and don't look to the superficial like somebody buying a house, they enter the house and say, oh the paint is just all wrong. Are you crazy? You don't think you can repaint things? It's not about that, it's about the inner reality. Don't let the outer distract you. But the inner reality, the inner actions, the inner love, the inner inner immense desire for that love. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with that love. Ya Rabbi open our hearts to see whom we love and to be with whom we love. And everybody let them be with whom they really love Ya Rabbi. If they love Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Rabbi grant us to always be in that presence, grant us to be in your Divinely Oceans, to be in the Divinely Oceans of Sayyidina Muhammad Ahlul Bayt and Nabi Ashab and Nabi Awliya Allah fi samahi wa fil ardika Ya Rabbi bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.
Click the link now to subscribe.